now available for the first time in paperback. Stop simping in the workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere. When it comes down to the workplace, men and women go to work for two different reasons. In most cases, men go to work to get their financial needs met because most men are the only ones who will be able to take care of themselves and meet their economic needs and provide for a way to take care of themselves. Now women in most cases, they go to work for a completely different set of reasons. When it comes down to most women, they go to work primarily just to get their emotional needs met. And the reason why they go there to get their emotional needs met is because in most cases, men are providing for their financial needs in usually most of the time. However, they go into the workplace looking to get their emotional needs met because they feel emotionally unfulfilled or they feel not satisfied in some way, shape, or form. And because they go into the workplace looking to get their emotional needs met, they try to turn the workplace into an extension of their homes. And this can be shown to you by the way most females have their desks and have things on their desk. Because if you compare a man's desk to a woman's desk, you will notice a complete difference in the way things are organized and things are arranged on that desk. Because when it comes down to most men, they go to work primarily to meet the goals that are of the organization and to meet their personal and professional goals. However, most women go to work again for emotional fulfillment and to get their emotional needs met. And because they're trying to turn their job into an extension of their home, you will see them nesting at their desk. And the way they show how they nest at their desk is you will see all these pictures on their desk of their children. You will see all these mementos and all these little knickknacks decorating the desk. And you will see all sorts of items all around her office area. And this is how females nest in the workplace. And this is all about meeting their emotional needs for emotional fulfillment and finding a way to express themselves emotionally because this is what they would do in their own homes. Now other ways females um, express their extension of the home in the workplace is through social gatherings in the workplace because females desperately need to be social in the workplace. Men in most cases they usually don't need to be as social in the workplace. If you have a bunch of guys in a workplace they usually focus on the goals and the tasks at hand. And yes, they may talk to each other and, and banter about while they're doing the work of the job, but their primary focus is the job. Meanwhile, your females, in most cases, they don't really go to work again to, to actually work because they have men taking care of them. And they go there, again, as I've said before, to get their emotional needs met. And because they're there to get their emotional needs met, they need to be social. That's why you will see females most times spending most of their time talking to each other about things that are on television or things that they saw at the movies or things that are social related because they are mostly social creatures and they go to work again for those emotional satisfaction of being around friends and hanging out with friends. And one of the things that females do in a workplace in most cases is that they try to make the work environment some sort of friends thing where they have everybody coming together in some sort of social gathering, like some sort of office event or some sort of thing like that. Or they try to turn the workplace into a family thing where they see everybody as some sort of family. These are all gynocentric concepts as relates to the workplace because when it comes down to the workplace, the workplace was never designed to meet anyone's emotional needs. However, women have taken the workplace and they have tried to turn it into an extension of their home. And that's why we see things at work like these Mother's Day events or these Secretary's Day events or these birthday events or these other types of things like the Christmas parties, which are usually used by men for just tax write-off reasons, but usually women want those type of events because they want to get some sort of social gathering together 
and they want to get their emotional needs met in the workplace. They want to get the needs that they would get met at home from their husband and their children from the job, and they want to turn the job into some sort of surrogate family. Now, the workplace was never originally designed to be that way. When the workplace was primarily men, the workplace was usually a very indifferent environment, and it was an environment designed for competition. And the reason why it was designed for competition was because that's naturally how men are. Men naturally are competitive, and men are naturally about working towards moving themselves forward to the next level. However, thanks to more and more women entering the workplace, we're seeing a less competitive work environment and more of a social work environment. And everything is more about women getting their emotional needs met from the job and finding some sort of personal satisfaction and not focusing on any sort of achievement or any sort of profits financially. So everything is usually about women feeling a certain way in the workplace and feeling comfortable and getting those emotional needs met and being quote unquote happy on a job and it's not about moving the company forward, meeting goals, or, or excuse me, being extremely competitive because those are traits that primarily men have because men usually are extremely aggressive and they are extremely competitive. And that's the natural nature of men in the workplace. They're always looking to be better and they're always looking to do better. Whereas whenever you have a very female oriented environment it's all about how they feel about things and how comfortable they are and how people are comfortable in the workplace and having little nests at their desks and having that extension of the home at the job whereas when you have a very heavy male environment you don't really see that because when it comes down to men men again they're very competitive and they're about accomplishing what they want to accomplish and then moving forward. Meanwhile, females will just stay in the same job if it makes them feel good, and they will try to stay there and have their nest and have their extension of the home, and then they will try to try to create a more social environment in the workplace, and some of them will try to create this whole concept of a family in the workplace. And all of these concepts, yes, they are nice and they make for some type of worker morale in the workplace where everybody's all together. However, they don't really create a competitive environment where you have a team environment where everybody sees their role or their place in the environment. So it really causes a lot of dysfunction when you have a real gynocentric mindset in the workplace because people are not seeing where their role is on the team. And then you have people who are often trying to catch, to pull up, to catch the slack of other people. And the big problem with these type of gynocentric environments is that there's a lot of, there's next to no responsibility in these environments because in a competitive environment where there are a lot of men, there is a lot of responsibility because each man understands that they have to pull their own weight in a work environment if they hope to move ahead. However, when you have a gynocentric environment created by females, usually what happens is one female will not do her part, and then other females will try to pick up her slack, and then because they are emotional, they will start getting angry, getting resentful, and start getting jealous of each other, and then really productivity starts to crawl, and because everybody's not happy, that's when everything starts to decline, because what happens is, when you have females, they, again, are about meeting their emotional needs in the workplace. And when one female is not pulling her weight, well, the other ones start to pull it for her. And then they start becoming very angry at that female. And then they start participating in passive-aggressive behaviors. Or they start doing things like forming cliques, which is another part of having a lot of females in the workplace. Because, again, they're social and they want to form a group where they come together and they're all friends, but that's not really good for a business because, again, businesses are about money, they're about profits, and when you have a group forming a clique, you're not going to be able to access the entirety of the marketplace. So 
females work completely different from men, and there are there there are some women who work similar to men, but in most cases they want to create a more social environment. But social environments aren't really good for business because businesses are about meeting a company's economic needs, not meeting their emotional needs. Now, some people would think that businesses need to meet people's emotional needs, but in most cases, a business is supposed to be an environment that is supposed to be indifferent because indifference allows people to be more competitive and it allows them an incentive to go out here and work harder and try to move themselves ahead and not sit there and just get complacent. When people are trying to get their emotional needs met, they're not focused on being competitive. What they're focused on is being comfortable. And when you have a gynocentric workplace, it's usually an environment where the women are very comfortable, but then the profits are very low. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct Men's Issues books like Stop Simping in the Workplace, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.